we are going to walk through a few different options of applications that I find being extremely helpful when it comes to finding award tickets, when it comes to finding airlines or flights for cheaper through points. And none of these are going to be your end all be all. They're only going to supplement what you already know, but some of them are going to be good for, you know, the lazy few who don't want to learn the process. You can always find better deals outside of these applications, but they're at least going to give you places of where to possibly look or other options to look at in terms of saving thousands and thousands of dollars on flights and travel. So like I said, I want to break down a few of them. There could be separate videos for all of these, uh, which I will likely create at some point, but I just want to explain a little bit about the applications and kind of where I see them fit. So let's do it. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. All right, per usual, I'm sure many of you are already using something like Google Flights to check for flights that are available. All right, this is just going to give you options of how much those flights cost. and. Then it's also going to give you an idea of what airlines are flying to the destination you're looking for. And some of them, they may not have partners. And if that cash price is better for you, go ahead and take it. But it's just going to give you ideas of where to look. Google Flights. Um, there are some Chrome extensions you can add in that say if they're specifically live flat um, or certain options like that for international flights. But uh, we're not going to touch on that today because those are some other applications to use. But the second one is going to be flight connections. So this is huge, especially for international flights. Like I said, if you're in Kansas City and you're trying to fly to Paris, you're not gonna have a direct flight. So flight connections allows us to expedite that information and understand, okay, what airline flies into that city directly? And then you're like, okay, I could leave out of Atlanta or I could leave out of Minneapolis or JFK or Dallas and it gives you the airlines. So then right now you understand if I understand transfer partners and who's available on those transfer partner platforms, where to possibly check, right? And sometimes it's better if you are in Kansas City to then fly to JFK, pay a cash flight for the $200 one-way ticket, and then fly to JFK to get the luxury uh, vibe or luxury airline. So the second one, the next two are gonna be very similar. Um, I like roam.travel. So this is going to, they partner with a few different partners. Like I said, it's not going to give you all of the partners. They're not connected with all the partners, but essentially what Roam.travel and Point.me do is they scrape these websites to see uh, what options are available. So you can do that. The only thing with these is it, right, the loading capability of it, it can be slow. Um, and you can only put one city and one destination at one point. But like I said, you can use flight connections to start messing around to see if there's better options from other cities. So Rome.travel, I like. Uh, it is free currently. Point.me is like $5. You can also do like a 30-day 30 um, 30-day trial as well or a one-time one -time search, which I don't know, you know how well that would work for you. But Point.me is also similar. They work with some partners as well, but it's not going to cover all of the partners. It's going to cover a few of them. It's also going to let you a little bit, let you know about, you know, what types of uh, credit card partners or credit card points can transfer into those partners so that you know that. And be aware, there are transfer bonuses available. So you might be like, oh, okay, there's a 20, 30% bonus to British Airways. So I might want to focus on that because if I find a flight that is 100,000 points, I might only have to transfer 80,000 or 70,000 and I transfer less and I get more value out of it. So roam.travel, point.me, pretty much the same. A lot of people love them. Um, I think they're okay. I think they just supplement what I already know and it makes the searching process just that much easier, but I would never, like I said, they're not always completely up to date and you can usually find better deals when you're searching within the transfer partner platform much better. There's other things that are showing. So not everything is hundred percent with these, but like I said, if you are lazy and you just want to tap into the points game at least a little bit and see if you can get some good options, this is a way to do that, but it's only going to cover about 50% of it or even less. But the last one is it's going to be this is mainly for international stuff, but they're going to give you economy, business, first class. Uh, I'm not signed into it right now, so you can't see everything, but you can add multiple days. And the great thing about seats.aero is you can add multiple airports. So if you see all of those destination airports, you can add, you know, multiple airports to the origin airport and then, you know, choose a different destination. So one thing to note, this is going to be really good for kind of last second bookings. 
within a month, you can go up to, you know, six months or more and you can check then. But if you're trying to go on a trip late, this is going to be fantastic because a lot of deals do open up late. And um, like I said, you can do multiple airports, multiple options, and it's still not going to cover all of the partners. Like once you start understanding the partners and things like that, but it's really awesome and it saves you a ton of time. So a lot of these, like I said, a lot of these are going to save you a lot of time in your search process. When I began this, all of these things were not available. So I was going on every single platform, understanding a lot of the transfer partners, searching there, searching this, searching that. It would take hours at a time. But once you start building up the skill set of how to travel hack, how to utilize your points, these will only supplement and cut down the time that you are using to find flights and they'll supplement that information. Now you know where to look if you see certain things and you can see if there's other deals. So you'll always, always get uh, better options when you do check the actual platform and never transfer your points unless you know there's actually a deal available for the amount of seats that you want because then those points will be stuck there. So these are the applications that I use to just save me time. They're applications that you guys can start using and start implementing and start utilizing to save thousands on travel. Uh, hopefully that helps. Talk to you soon, friends.